Wow, so this is really one of the most unique dishes that you're gonna find here at this restaurant, Northern Vietnamese food. As long as she says it's good, then I'm in good hands. I authenticated it. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in Orange County, in Westminster, the land of Vietnamese cuisine, because I'm gonna be checking out one of the hottest new highly rated Vietnamese restaurants in town. But I'm not alone, because I have an expert who's really gonna help me with this. Darlene! Hi! It's so, me again. Yeah, welcome back. So where are we at today? So we are at Sen Vietnamese Cuisine Restaurant in Westminster and they specialize in Northern Vietnamese cuisine, which you don't really see a lot in the Westminster area. Usually like they're more prone to Southern style or even just a mixture of a full Asian fusion. So really excited to try the Northern specialties at Sen. That's right. One of the most unique Vietnamese restaurants you're going to find in town. So this is the video you must stick all the way to the end of because you're going to see some Vietnamese food like no other here in Orange County at San Vietnamese Cuisine. And also, if you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, we're going to head in and we're going to have some really rocking Vietnamese food. You ready? Yeah, I'm so ready. <laughs> yes, I'm hungry. Let's go. What I like about this menu is that it's not really that big, so you don't have to spend so much time figuring out what to eat here. You see, two appetizers, and then they have your noodles, they have your banh mi, they have your bun. Yep, so if you love your drinks, they got your coffee and they have your tea as well. So I guess it kind of has like that cafe vibe going on here. So once again, this is Darlene. She was on my show before we had that Korean food in Koreatown. So good. Oh, I'm so <laughs> glad you loved it. And yeah. now she wants to show me the world of Vietnamese cuisine. Yeah. So yeah, guys, following Darlene, everything's gonna be yeah. in the video description link. She has some really awesome content there. She's gonna be showing me one of the most unique Vietnamese foods that you can find in Westminster. And I know that this area is like a little Vietnam out of Vietnam. So I'm not surprised you can find Vietnamese food like this. Yeah, so technically when Saigon was named Saigon in Vietnam, now it's Ho Chi Minh City. This is called Little Saigon, which uh, a lot of Vietnamese people actually came here after coming from Vietnam. And you know, it just feels like at home. All right. Well, let's get started. Yeah. So this is Boom Jack Ga, and it's also one of a northern specialty, but instead of using pork, they actually use uh, fish. So what you'll see in there is fish cake, and then it's more of a brothier, flavorful, but also on the lighter side. All right, so Darlene, there's a way to do this, right? Yeah, so you wanna put lots of veggies in here, so on top like that, the more the merrier. Yes. And then you're gonna get a squeeze of lime, and depending on how much zest you like, you can put more or less. But I like to put the whole thing. In. Oh right. So I would say the special ingredient in this one that really makes the dish is the dill, and it brings all the flavors together. But yes, definitely try the broth. Is that good? Mmm. Is that really good? Yeah, yeah it's, it's it. like a very soothing, clean tasting, dill flavored broth. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's really good. Okay, so you're, are you supposed to use your spoon with it? Yes. Mmm. Mmm. You gotta do the dance. Was that, did you say that was fish cake inside? Mm -hmm. Wow, it really has a, like a chewiness to it. Yeah, and then they deep fry it. As you can tell guys, this is not your typical restaurant although they do have fall here it's coming in just a bit and you know what's funny is like I feel like when people think of Vietnamese food they all of a sudden just say oh I love pho but yeah. there's obviously you can see there's a lot more to Vietnamese food than just mm -hmm. pho <laughs> <laughs> okay this is cafe soda which is just the original Vietnamese coffee it has condensed milk in it, ice, and literally coffee. And that's all this is. This one, I think is more of like a house specialty item. It's like a coconut coffee. Yeah. Almost like a frappuccino ice blend in some ways. Ooh, that must be really good. Is that good? It is. <laughs> By the way, it's kind of morning time, so we need our coffee. I'm gonna keep them both, so I can keep on doing this. Okay, darling, you can have them both. I can tell you, you really need your coffee today. <laughs> 
And then this is Jat Nam, and this is a Vietnamese northern style of an egg roll, which their wrapping is a little bit thinner, more flakier, more crispier. And of course, in Vietnamese style, you always have a side of lettuce and fish sauce. Yeah, so you're gonna wanna grab a piece of romaine lettuce, and again, I like the crunchy part. So, and then you wanna grab a bit of cilantro in here. Take half of it. So you see all the shredded pork, and then they also use glass noodle inside here, and it's wrapped in a thinner egg wrap comparatively to other Vietnamese styles. So it's a little bit more flaker, more crispier, and not as heavy. But here, wrap it up, and then you dip it in the fish sauce with daikon and carrot. I can tell, it tastes pretty good. Mm. Crispy, flavorful. I feel like I'm back in Vietnam. Woo! That's this is a lot. Wow, this tastes different from the one I've had in the other. Yeah, because Northern style, again, they use a different kind of wrap around it. And here, let me show. Beers. So, sorry, it's not. <laughs> but it's a little bit lighter, thinner, and so it has more of a flaky crispy. So that's what kind of differentiates, I would say, northern style compared to other egg rolls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that egg roll is so crispy, like crispy in a very airy, light way. But you definitely need to wrap it in the, in the veggies because that adds more texture, it's refreshing, it's crunchier. And of course, you gotta get the sauce. So this is a soy lapsul pate, which is a sticky rice, which is layered at the bottom. And then you have a Chinese Vietnamese style sausage to your left with, they topped it with a dried onion. So that's called han phi. And my mom actually makes it at home. It's really good. So you said just a little bit of everything in a here, right? A little bit of everything. Okay. Yeah. You want me to try first? Yeah. Okay, she wants me to try first. I think it's too good to say anything yet. He's taken back by it. <laughs> it almost tastes like something that you would eat out of a dim sum restaurant. Mm. Like the sticky rice. And the sticky rice, it comes in different variations, but I would say this is how most Vietnamese people enjoy it. But um, you can go even just eat it plain and then they dip it in like sesame seeds, sugar and salt. So that's another way to enjoy it. Mm. But this is the go-to. Mm. Yeah, love this. So this is banh mi kue, and this is a kind of a skinnier style baguette and they have shredded pork inside and put it in it as well. Usually like small, skinny like this and it's usually made to like enjoy with your coffee in the morning because it's not technically healthy to drink coffee on an empty stomach. So this is usually a breakfast item. Oh, okay. Or you can also do it as a snack item too. Okay. And in this case, an appetizer. Mm. Okay, first of all, I thought this bun meat was going to be like your typical bun meat size. You know those big French baguettes with all your... But I think this is pretty cool. It's like very snack size. Mm -hmm. And then the meat inside is very different. This is like shredded pork, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then they also put, I want to say this is a little bit of sriracha in here too. Okay. Yeah, just a little tad. It's not spicy at all. It just gives it a more flavor. You have your coffee and then you have your bun mi kue. So really good breakfast item or just a snack. This is apparently a bestseller here. Like I've heard stories of this thing selling out by the afternoon time. Yeah. See, <laughs> breakfast item. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Item. So I guess this is one of those items you really have to order here at this restaurant yeah. from what I'm hearing, all the buzz. Oh yeah, absolutely. You like it? I love it. Okay. <laughs> And I heard this one is super popular here. Yeah, so this is actually what the northern style Vietnamese cuisine is actually known for. And this is called Boom Chia. And what this is, you have grilled pork inside with a specialty Vietnamese uh, fish sauce. And then it's topped with carrot and daikon. And then you also have a side of vermicelli, which is a rice noodle. And of course, you can put it inside the bowl to mix it together. And again, we have a side of veggies and you can also put it inside the bowl. So this could be a little salty because this is mostly, uh, the base is fish sauce, which is diluted down a little bit by sugar, water, and for Northern Sire, they may or may not marinate it with shrimp tails and like the shell of the shrimp to bring out more flavor. But. 
like a little DIY for your bowl. Yeah. But you can put more or less depending on your preference. And then you definitely want to get a little bit of romaine in there. And this is garlic. Do you see that whole piece of garlic? Yes. Yeah, I love That's... garlic. Well, I'm so glad you're here showing me how to do all this. Mmm. Mm. Wow. So good. Okay, that's pretty good. The buncha is something that I love to get. If I don't want something so hot, but I want something more like, not necessarily soupless, but you know, just more... Straight to the point. Refreshing <laughs> or just a mixture of everything inside. This is another very popular item at yes. this restaurant. Yeah. And I can see why, because it literally tastes like what I had in Hanoi. And it's titled Buncha Hanoi, so mm. yeah. Oh yeah, so this is the main event, the pho. Everybody loves Yay! pho. What is this one? So this one is pho thai, and it is rare steak. And it's really simple. I like simplicity. And of course you have your pho noodles. So let me pull those out. Ooh. Oh, looks so good. And this one is a little different from yours. This is the pho doc bed, which basically means everything, right? A little bit of everything. Okay. So you have your, of course, your noodles, you have your flank steak, you have your skirt steak, and you should be able to find a little bit of tripe in there too. So where is that? It's in there somewhere. In there somewhere. And of course, it comes with all this too. All the veggies. <laughs> oh yeah, just like you'd find in any fall restaurant. Yeah. So no surprise here. You just kind of put it in like this, right? Yeah. All right. Take off the leaves. Okay, and I like to put jalapeno in mine too. Spice it up a little bit. Okay, and bean sprouts. Oh yeah, you can really have fun with this. Okay, so is this any different than your typical southern pho we got here? Um, a little bit different. I would say the shape of the noodle is a little bit different. So you have more of a flat shape comparatively to a thinner. Mm. Mm. First ever time I've had broth with but with these noodles. Ooh, look at that. Oh, really? I would say the northern style, they like using these type of noodles. And I didn't know that until I went to Vietnam. I was like, well, I wonder why Vietnam is doing their noodles like this. But it's actually part of the culture and I prefer it now comparatively to the other noodles. This isn't technically a pho restaurant because they have a lot more than pho here. But they do have pho here and it's made in this northern style which is very unique so if you guys want to try the flow here like something just a tad bit new then yeah you should definitely try this i would come here again for their pho and that kind of says a lot <laughs> okay i this... can slip the rest of this oh boy you see it's really good pho like i said guys this is really one of the most unique vietnamese restaurants you're going to find in Orange County. It's just a small sample of what you could find here in Westminster in the little Saigon area. So yes, when you're here and you want to try some really awesome Vietnamese food, check out San Vietnamese Cuisine. You're going to have a blast here. You see it's so crowded in here. There's a wait list outside. So we got to eat and we got to get out of here to make some room for people. Yeah, I think they're getting mad at us because we ordered half the menu. And I mean, we're wrapping up, but yeah, definitely take a visit. I love it. It's Vietnamese approved for sure. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, you know what to do. Give me a like, subscribe, follow Darlene as well, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.